They might change that, who knows. <laughs> uh, like my past few stream titles have just been like, yeah, I give up. I'm, like, I'm just, I'm just gonna get canned. All right, we are gonna beat Nebraska though. I wonder how many uh how many people they fit in this stadium. Eighty James White? Ben White. What's up, Brady? Brayden, sorry. <laughs> Brayden 2K23, what's up? I'd like to apologize right now for bringing Wisconsin to a 1 in 5 record. I am trying to hype myself up, though. I'm pretty sure I can beat Nebraska. For some reason, Wisconsin always beats Nebraska. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Sorry. There we go. Three and out on the first drive. Get something to drink. What did he do? Oh my god, he fumbled it? Okay. So I literally couldn't have returned it even if I was sitting here. I just went to my fridge and I'm like, oh yeah, that's why I didn't bring anything to drink over the first time is because uh, I have like literally nothing to drink. Clemson's up 49 to nothing on Maryland. Wow. It's because he didn't juke or anything. I told him to go to the left. Tried to get him to do a spin move to the left. Wow. I swear I only lost one starter on the offensive line last year, but my offensive line seems worse than last year. Like, where is 21 going? Nobody wants to block this linebacker? 21 needs to block that guy. That's what I'm saying has been happening a lot this season. It's stuff like that. Run that second down run. I think I've easily got the... Well, not easily, but I think I've got the first down. Apparently I did uh, my juke move too late or my spin move too late. So like, I should have had the first down there and it didn't work. And then I run the next play. 
and a guy just totally doesn't block the guy he needs to. And the other blocker gets there late, and it's like, okay, boom, suddenly I'm punting. When my initial... Okay, I gotta pick my own defenses. My initial idea was to uh, go for it on fourth. I'm like, no, 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 let's do the smart thing and punt. Now, here, watch. They're probably gonna drive all the way down and score a touchdown. The entire length of the field. Um, that's another idea I had, is I wanted to check, like, who I'm playing an outside linebacker, if I could potentially do this, like, four linemen, but the two of the linemen are actually just outside linebackers. These are the same two safeties that started last year. Why, did, why do the safeties seem worse than last year, that they can never come up and make a play in time? There we go. It's like the corners seem to be good, making good tackles. Safeties don't seem to be doing anything. So 30 is in on both of these. But 59 is not. I'm 40. I'm sure. Yeah. Surely should just look at my formation subs after. Is that green that just got absolutely burned here? One and five, save. I got that ran the ball because I didn't really get much pressure with that blitz. So if they had passed it, there probably would have been someone open in time. Well, they did drive down the field, but they didn't get a touchdown, so that's a win. Kind of. Damn, that is deep.
Damn. Nice catch, nice catch. Staying in bounds. Oh, really? You're all going to crowd the line? You're all going to crowd the line, huh? What do you think about that, baby? Got a huge ass. He's in, he's in, come on. This one, Mike, is that a real pass? God, that's the best punt return actually running up the middle I've ever had. Winding, waving back and forth. We're getting there. Oh, we actually have more first downs than them now.
As soon as I let that ball go, I'm like, why did I loft that ball? I should have bullet passed it. Thanks for just letting him run right past you. That's twice Huge Ass has gotten open deep. Ad break in progress. Wow, this is the first time Twitch has actually shown me that, even though they've been promising it for like two years. So that way the streamer actually knows when an ad's going on. So if you're talking to someone who's not subscribed, you know that, hey, they're watching an ad. Nice hit. <laughs> Did you? I don't know. I cannot figure out what's wrong. Did you lose a lot of seniors or something? I went through my roster a couple games ago. I think when I was one in three, I'm like, why? Like, why does my defense seem worse? Why does my blocking seem worse? And like, I don't think I lost that many seniors. Like I lost one receiver. Didn't lose any quarterbacks or halfbacks or tight ends. Um, and I'm trying to remember, I think I only lost one starting offensive lineman. It's like, yeah, we got worse at one position, but all the other four guys like got better. I know we lost all three starting linebackers. So the linebacker play is definitely worse. Huge ass. It's going to have so many yards today. That's his third straight. Uh, like 193 yards. I bet like 120 of that is to huge ass. And also, I think a lot of games I was just getting bored of my play calling, so I was trying a lot of plays. Because really, like, I'm best at this game when I'm running the read option. With the, like, quarterback either handing off to the running back or running it himself. That's, like, my base offense is based out of that. And I think I kind of, like, got bored with it. You know, like, tried to expand my horizons. Try a lot more, like, learning new pass plays, and I think I through too many interceptions. Like I got, uh, whoops. If I got under any sort of pressure, like had to rush the ball out, boom, it would be an interception. There were several times where I just like refused. I'm like, why did I, why did I throw that ball? Like I could see the defender right in front of him. It's like, I just refused to throw the ball away for some reason. These frickin' All right, what kind of defense can I call to stop? That's specifically the third, like sideline receivers going deep, next receivers going an out route, and he's been open every time. Let's try Let's try quarters. Cover two sink. 
But yeah, that's what you would assume, right? If I was in the college football playoffs last season and now suddenly I'm... Like, I lost to Ohio State only by seven. And I lost to Pittsburgh by, like, three. But then it comes out, the last my last stream, I lost to two unranked teams. I was <laughs> like, what the hell? Mm -hmm. Gave up 50 points to... 50 points to Indiana. I think that was the game where I threw a ton of interceptions. But at risk of jinxing it, I said, when I started this game, I have never lost to Nebraska in this dynasty. So that just gives me confidence straight up. Ooh. Dang. <clears throat> Whether at Clemson or Wisconsin, I've never lost to Nebraska. So I want to say Wisconsin, my... Well, I know my first two years at Wisconsin, Nebraska was not in the Big Ten. I just moved Nebraska back into the Big Ten, along with Oregon and Washington. <clears throat> So I want to say my first year at Wisconsin, I scheduled Nebraska. I don't know if I scheduled them my second year at Wisconsin. There we go. And then I know with Clemson, I think I scheduled them at twice, probably. Are you on PC? Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah, I use the uh, RP... RPCS3. Come on, stop them. Yes, fourth and one. I'm calling a timeout. Since I assume they're going to kick a field goal. Oh my god, was it the Indiana game? Oh, fake. Nice. One of these last two games I played, I literally was up 21 to 3. And then they kicked the field goal to 21-6, and I just got, like, deja vu right there. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> then I ended up losing that game. I'm like, how? I was up 21-3. And, like, had the ball back at 21-6, and I still lost. So, yeah, I just had a little uh, panic right there. I'm like, oh, no, not again. Alright, I got two timeouts. He didn't get it? Oh, he did get it, okay. See, I actually threw it away that time. I'm I'm getting better. <laughs> getting more disciplined. I should have called a timeout after that first play anyway. Didn't want to get stuck in that formation. Cause now I got too many yards to pick up in only twelve seconds. I'm just gonna have to throw it deep a couple times. All right, well, only two time that's left. I might as well call one. What yard line am I on? Ooh. If I could get to the 30, I could attempt a field goal. Damn. Who is this? Uh, Seymour Cox? Yeah. Let's see if I can get him up. But actually, let's send Alvarez deep as well. Oh, no. 
Ooh. <laughs> I probably should have thrown that ball away. Look, my receiver's got so far downfield. I wanted to throw the guy on the left, but I didn't know which button it was. I couldn't see it. And the B guy wasn't really open. And then I like saw that. I'm like, I can't plant and throw now. So I sh literally should have just thrown it away. But I pressed B anyway. <laughs> Thank goodness he didn't return that all away. And we get the ball. Let's go. Man, since when do these college kickers have such big legs? <sighs> All right, let's go. Come on, Badgers. Bama, to Bama, Tennessee, tied up. Third and one, I'll take it. Wow, good stiff arm by Gable. Yeah, it was dangerous. Thought I could get it in there fast enough. How? I'm like, okay. I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay. Sweet, man coverage. I'm gonna be able to throw this out. And I'm already throwing it, and he's like, suddenly he's cutting underneath. I'm like, what? How? How? That did not look like zone coverage. Until it was too late. Until I was already throwing the ball. I'm like, oh, well, how? <sighs> Pittsburgh's going to lose again. Well, so much for Pittsburgh being top five team. I was all proud when Pittsburgh got into the top five. I'm like, hey, when I lost in them week one, I thought it was stupid. <laughs> Maybe they're actually really good, and I'm not embarrassed to lose to them. And now they're going to lose a couple games in a row. Maybe drop out of the top 25. Whoops. That's college football for you. Thought we had them. It's inside or three TFLs. Well, you should have had a TFL on that one. Mm -hmm. 
finally! <laughs> No, don't overturn it. No overturn. Let's go. Okay. He had <laughs> he had a couple earlier in the game that he should have had. Yep. Should have lost of that ball. To the receiver on the right side, too. I don't know why. When I think, like, oh, the receiver's got a couple steps on him. I should be able to just fire this ball in there so I can get it there before the DB recovers. Because if I think if I loft it, it'll give the, the D DB more time to recover. It's like, no, literally every single time, just loft the ball. Justice way to fight some for that yak. We love some yak over here. Who doesn't love some good old fashioned yak? Miami keeping their number one ranking, defending national champs. Dang. A lot of guys being blocked downfield. Not a lot of guys being blocked at the line of scrimmage there. More Cox. Touchdown. <laughs> yeah, now I'm tempted to change my stream title just to show, like, hey, I might actually win a game. It's only against Nebraska, so it doesn't mean much. Yeah, I started one and one. I won, I won the second game of the season. So that's I'm literally I'm on a four game losing streak. And it was understandable when my losses were to like a top five Pittsburgh team, a top five Ohio State team. Damn, um, it was not understandable when I started losing to Indiana and. Iowa? No, Illinois? Too many I schools in the Big Ten. I really should just make a command for the schedule for each season because I can never remember it. Nice play. Who was that? My ball's itch? Oh, it's Kiski. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did y'all see that? Oh, man. Dude got airborne. Unintentional airborne upside down. I came flying in. Hit stick. What? Dude landed on his neck. Ugh. Yeah. 
There we go, yeah. Force an underneath pass. They won't even catch it anyway. Alright, I am changing my stream title. J Mac, good evening. I was just thinking, like, I don't think I've actually had anyone admit publicly that they're a Nebraska fan. Not even in like my stream, but in other people's streams either. And I wonder if it's like there are secret Nebraska fans out there just not wanting to face the ridicule. If if, if it's got that gotten that bad for their program, that people have to hide. How's your day going so far, Cincy? Hopefully better than Nebraska's day here. It's, it's at Nebraska, too. This is a home game for them. I don't know why I'm trying a midline read option. I'm not very good at this midline. I think I know which lineman I'm looking at, though. No! I didn't let go of the button soon enough. I, I don't think so. Am I getting mad in 24? I don't think so. Too much money for me. I thought about like making it a sub goal or something or asking for enough subs. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to make people feel like they have to donate to get me to play Madden. Let's try this play. Because I, um, what's it called? The Microsoft Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass thing. Damn, I knew that wasn't going to work. I'm going to go for it anyway. Um, I have Microsoft's Game Pass. So that includes the EA, like the base EA Play subscription. So with that subscription, I get all the like old Madden games and all the old FIFA games, all the old NBA games, but you don't get like you have to wait until the game's been out a while. Held on to it, nice catch. So like, I'm already paying for a subscription that's gonna get me the game, whenever probably in like six months from now after the football season's over. I'll get the game for free. So unless a whole bunch of viewers were to band together and be like, oh yeah, yeah, we'll contribute however many subs to pay for like half of the game or something. Nice throw. So unless someone was trying to go for that, I'd be like, hmm. Why would I pay $70 for a game that I'll get, I'll literally get the game for free in six months from now? So. It's like, I've been debating it for the past, like, two, three weeks, because I knew the game's been coming out. And then today comes around and everyone's talking about man. I'm like, oh, I didn't realize today it was, like, going to be the first day or the first night or whatever. It's like, apparently I made my decision without even making a decision. It's like if I if I cared enough that I was gonna buy it, then I would have been paying more attention to like which night it was and plan a stream around launch night and everything. Sweet. Great blocking everybody. I mean I'm I might still get it. I don't know. Maybe I'll just wait. Cause isn't isn't it like a like a three day 
like if you pre-ordered it or got the deluxe version or something, you get you get it three days ahead of everyone else. Maybe I'll just wait like three days and see what everybody says about it. See if it's worth it. Oh my god. Huge ass having the game of his life today. Number 45 didn't even try. He's just like, oh. I know, what about you, uh, since he. Did you already buy men? Uh, upset brewing in the Big 12. No, you're not getting it? Like, I have not been a sports video game player since I was, like, high school, college age. I don't know if I... I guess I, I did play a lot of FIFA the last few years. Like I said, that was with that EA Play subscription. It's like you get access to all the previous games. So I would just go and play... Uh, like the previous year's FIFA for free. Is that would just be messing around with like their franchise modes? But as far as like getting seriously into it and playing matches online against other users and streaming it and everything, uh, I didn't get that far into it. So yeah, I'm kind of just getting back into the whole sports game streaming thing. Gosh, leaving a lot of guys open on this drive. Let's say when I was in high school, I played a lot of uh, Madden and a lot of uh, different baseball games. Splitter Gopher, get on your horse, baby. Oh! The backup safety in on the dime package makes the grab. Actually, I just bought um, Baseball Stars 2 on Steam for the very hefty price pay price tag of two dollars because I'd say my favorite like original Nintendo game was the first baseball stars my brother and I both played the hell out of that game we'd create some super dominant dream teams like players maxed out on ratings and everything that was so fun and i've uh actually like got an emulator and been playing that i don't care it's 35 to 3 i'm going for it Uh, but but yeah, I haven't been playing the Baseball Stars originally. It's like when I first moved to Madison and like I didn't have a whole lot to do, I was so bored. So I like downloaded the uh, old emulators for like old Pokemon games that I used to play in, in middle school and high school and old uh, like Baseball Stars and Tecmo Super Bowl. So it's like, yeah, I used to play the original Baseball Stars all the time. And now I've also like <laughs> done it on emulators too. So when I like saw I'm like there's a baseball stars too and it's like on Steam. Like I did the whole notify me when it goes on sale thing.
on. So yeah, maybe if I uh, want to play a new game on stream that I just bought, maybe I'll... Like, I haven't played Baseball Stars 2 yet. Like, it was a $2 purchase, whatever. Any of you guys watch Baffle when Baffle streams? He's been doing his Super Mega Baseball, and I haven't gotten in there to watch one of those streams yet. I tried Super Mega Baseball last year. Wow, okay. So I was wondering if that might... If he's having a lot of fun with that, if that's something I should give a try again. Yes. I, I was going to say, 215 yards receiving. I was going to say, yeah, they haven't shown me his yardage total all game, and I haven't gone in to the stats to go look at it. Oh, come on. It's 35 to 3. Uh, I really should just be forcing the ball. To him the rest of the game try to rack up those yardage totals. Alright, first and ten. What number is he? Is he number eighty? <laughs> I was like, there's no way this is actually going to work, right? <laughs> oh, dude, it was the other guy behind him that caught it. Dang. Oh, that's what I get for getting greedy and trying to uh, rack up the yardage for that receiver. Uh oh, you're in trouble! Butter stick, dude. You should have four picks today. Classic. I guess that play is probably going to be open a lot as long as I'm running man defense. Probably zone defense is the type that'll stop that. Ah, I missed. Really going to be calling timeouts? Dark Sage, what's up? Classic matchup, Nebraska versus Wisconsin. Wisconsin's had, of, uh, had the advantage in that matchup most of the time since Nebraska joined the Big Ten. Butter stick! I want to say the first, like, five or maybe the first six years Nebraska was in the Big Ten, they split, like, three and three. Or maybe it was just, like, they split two and two the first few times, and now Wisconsin's just on a huge winning streak against them every time now. Dang. I'm excited for college football to be back in general. I know. I was just uh, making the rounds, texting all my buddies, be like, you know, all summer we've been talking about like which, which football games we might want to go to. I'm like, it's time. Like, I'm going to start looking for tickets for the opening week game, for week one game. 
Like, it, it, ain't, it ain't theoretical anymore. Like, legitimately, <laughs> let me know. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna buy, like, a six-pack of tickets or something. Wish my team could win a national championship someday, but it'll never happen. What's, uh, what's your team? See, my favorite team is Wisconsin, and I'm not expecting them to win a national title anytime soon, but I don't think it's, uh, impossible. Army fan. I think we can break into the top 25 this year. Dude. That is one team I, you know, a lot of experts kind of just gloss over and don't talk very much about. Not a whole lot of analysis about, like, Army or Navy. There was a, I want to say a three-year stretch. Maybe it's just a two-year stretch. When we set the schedule for my season, someone always requested that I put, play Army. So that I, I would schedule Army for a non-conference game. Wow. That's a good corner kick. We get the first game of the year in primetime. Let me run off. Uh, see if I can get some more yardage for this receiver. He's got over 200. When does Army play? ULM. The sh is it uh, like a week zero game or a week one game? Why? <laughs> I was waiting for the B receiver to run and he wasn't running. Let's go with a five line. This way he'll run down the field, right? No way! No way! Stay in bounds, stay in bounds! Oh, this is a record. This is easily the most receptions of, or receiving yards I've ever had with one guy in a game. School record passing touchdowns in a game. I almost ran out of bounds there. Week zero. Yo, what's up, Apple? Pittsburgh. No, I lost to Pittsburgh. I need Pittsburgh to be good this year. Trying to... What was I going to do? FBS schedules? Ah, uh, yeah. Labor Day weekend. 7 o'clock Eastern? Very nice. N NFL Network? Why is it on NFL Network? <laughs> Army Navy game. Air Force. You guys play Air Force every year, right? I haven't been on Twitch in a couple weeks. No worries. Say my last stream was actually on Kick. I do Kick streaming sometimes too. So yeah, Air Force every year. LSU. There you go. At LSU. I mean, I don't want to jinx it or anything, but this schedule doesn't look too crazy difficult. I don't know know what kind of difficulty Army usually schedules. But yeah, like I can see this being a win, a win, a win, depending on how good Syracuse this, is this year. That's probably a loss, but if Syracuse is bad this year, you can beat Syracuse. That could be a win, a win. Okay, let's see. LSU is a loss. UMass could be a win. 
depending on how good Air Force or Coastal Carolina is. Maybe you go one and one in those games. Literally, you could get out of the season like nine and three, something like that. If you're if Army's like as decent as they normally are, I know our Army came to Wisconsin two years ago. I want to say, yeah, I think it was two seasons ago. Army came to Wisconsin, and it was a close game. Like Army almost beat Wisconsin. My sister. Oh, congratulations to your sister. And I've been super busy. Yeah, nope, no worries. I mean, I assume if I don't stream very much in a given week that people understand. Like, hey, sometimes you get busy with life, you know? So let's check the receiving yards. 312! <laughs> Wow. I mean, we did tack on an extra 97 on the last play of the game. 312 receiving four touchdowns. That, I'm going to have to do something with that. I'm going to at least take a screenshot of that. That's going to have to go on social media somewhere. Damn. Five TDs and four picks. And he ran for a TD, too. Well, all right, boys, we got our second win of the season. Dark Sage, you, um, you get to go to arm any army games usually. <clears throat> I was going to say, I, I'm lucky I live in Madison. I get to go to games, but I kind of like purposely chose, <laughs> like I made the conscious choice to live in Madison so that I could go to a lot of uh, Badger football games. So yeah, I get to go to a lot of games. A local game, I could go to the Minnesota Twins games <laughs> very easily. And they also had um, the St. Paul Saints was an independent baseball team. So we also had that option too. Because now I live in Madison and the only like major baseball team is a, a college summer league the Northwoods League. Which, mm, not quite as exciting for me as if it were like an actual minor league team. I already offered that guy. I already offered this guy. Do a 77. Yeah, I haven't been really paying attention to my recruiting the rest of this year. Just because, like, the only thing I really needed was a good running back, and I've already got that. So let's. Nobody's got scholarship on, on these guys yet. Put 700 into both of them. And we'll call that good for recruiting. All right, Washington is up next. Washington's one and six. Oh, they are struggling in their in the Big Ten. One and four in their Big Ten games. Oregon lost their first Big Ten game. Minnesota's on top of the division. Oregon lost to Minnesota. Minnesota's number one in the country. Blasphemy. I hope you're not in the chat because you, you would be celebrating way too hard for Minnesota to be number one in the country. I think it's such an easy schedule. Oregon and Penn State. Nobody else is ranked. Uh, they beat Michigan already.
All right, some of these menus seem to be running a little slow, so I'm going to restart the game. So give me one sec while I do that. I live in Erie, so... Oh, yeah, yeah. Isn't that the Phillies? Double A team. We have a bunch of actual professional teams around us. Yeah, Pittsburgh and Cleveland. They're not the they're not the Bay Sox, are they? Is that Bowie? I'm th am I thinking of Double A Bowie as the Bay Sox? Yeah, I'm a huge baseball fan, so I, I know a decent amount about minor leagues. All right, we, we will play another game. I just I like to get up and stretch my legs between games and stuff. So I will throw up the be right back sign. And I will be back in like a minute. Uh. actually kind of nice 
<clears throat> just be drinking water. I'm in the habit of drinking like sodas, rock stars, all kinds of like sugary drinks. I need to be drinking healthier stuff. Ah, uh, sea wolves. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking like, eerie. I was just trying to think of like what fit, like eerie, eerie bay socks. And just because eerie kind of sounds like buoy. All right. Um, let's just take display capture off. It's already on. All right, not gonna lie, that uh, that was a big confidence booster right there. To s not even win the game, just to like easily win the game. To smoke Nebraska, that feels good. Uh, game capture, picking it up. Game is loading. I've been hooked on monsters right now. <laughs> yeah, it's like I always just buy like whatever's on sale. Ooh, ooh, it had it, it had it. Uh, you should just buy whatever's on sale. And a couple weeks ago, I bought the the prime drink just to because I'd heard so much about it, and I was like, all right, they're on sale, two for four bucks. I'll buy them. We're fine. They're okay, but they're not like better than monster. Or better than Rockstar or anything. I'm like, I'll just continue to buy whatever's on sale. And Rockstar seemed to be generally on sale. You get the four pack for five bucks. Okay, what was I gonna do? Uh, if I lost again, I was really gonna go into like the formation subs and everything. Celsius C. I see that one a lot. People don't, I haven't really had anyone talk about it. Hunter, what's up? Hunter, you wanted a wide receiver, right? Do you want this Sam McPherson guy, a redshirt freshman who's 81? You want this Caleb Oliver, a freshman 78? Ryan Young, a freshman, seventy-seven. Or do you want to wait and take one of the and take one of the guys I'm recruiting right now? The guys I'm recruiting now, it might be several years before they become starters. See, the athletes. I haven't been paying attention to which ones are going to be which position. I think this was probably going to be a running back. This guy is probably going to be a running back. David Bush, he's not going to be a receiver either. Hey, a lot of these guys look like they might be running backs. Okay, this guy might be a wide receiver. Yeah, that guy's probably a wide receiver. Robert Jones. Might be a uh, running back. This guy's a running. God, I'm gonna have too many running backs. This looks like this 80, uh, 80 overall athlete. Who knows what he would be as a receiver? You want to take the eighty-one overall wide receiver? And do you have a name? Any fancy name you want for him? I feel like in other people's no, in other people's streams, they all come up with like huge ass, scary Alvarez, Seymour Cox. Like everyone has like unique names, and a lot of people here are just like yeah, whatever, just name them after myself. Quantum just wants them to be named Quantum. Quantum one, two, three. 
Oh, so, yeah, so you want this guy. Okay. The uh, jersey number or anything? So this guy's a senior. He'll probably leave. Hugh Jess might go to the NFL early. Hopefully not. These guys are both juniors. So like between the senior and the two juniors, once those guys are gone, one, two, three. He'd be the, he's the third guy. Twenty one. How do you claim a player? Um, if you are if you subscribe or gift a subscription, you get a free freshman. You you get a free recruit. Or if you have saved up enough channel points, you can use the channel point redemptions. Get over to my other screen so I can see more than three chat lines at a time. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so if you're... You know what channel points are, right? So in any channel, if you watch them for like a certain amount of minutes, you earn that many channel points. Mine are called curveballs. Instead of splitters, they could be called splitters, curveballs, fastballs, whatever. Um, what do I have it at right now? thousand channel points claim a freshman or a recruit two thousand to claim anything above a freshman hunter 21 you said right 21 I really should be writing down now. Uh, actually, never mind. I don't need to write that down. I, I know who's a named player and who's not. So who's got 21? Blas uh, Blasphemy has 21. He's a senior. So you can't have 21 right now. Maybe next year you could switch to 21. What I should write down is who claims a player and then actually... Like, it picks a specific number. Like, I'm pretty sure Blasphemy picked 21 on purpose. Like, I know Saquon Barkley. Seahawks picked Saquon Barkley, and he wanted him to have his real number. Here's 26. Well, like, I don't remember. Baffle picked Stan Gable. I don't remember if he picked number 11. So I was like, I probably should write down who actually cares about the players. Numbers. Five, six, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty-four, twenty-five. And twenty is popular. There's only twenty-four and twenty-five are the only ones available there. Seventeen. Well, I want say the Badgers quarterbacks, like in real life, a lot of them have been uh, in the teens. Like Russell Wilson was sixteen. Scott Tolzien was sixteen. I guess Graham Mertz was five. I wonder, did Graham Mertz take number five for Florida? I heard he just got announced as a starter. It's like, yeah, not surprised. All right, so Hunter is the freshman redshirt wide receiver, speed 88. Great acceleration, 95. How's your catching? Catching 77, that's about average for a freshman. Spectacular catch. Dude, Hunter, you're going to have some amazing one-handed catches. Route running pretty good. Okay. So I think that's kind of what your guy is special at, is uh, great at route running, jumping, making spectacular catches, and then average at catching, catching in traffic. You're probably not going to juke anybody after you catch it. Or stiff arm anybody after you catch it. <laughs> but hey, that's you just gotta catch it, that's what counts. And your great acceleration, yeah. So acceleration combined with route running, that should be pretty good. Ooh, Apple, you've got enough points. Okay. Um, so recruits, yeah, so you could 
Um, let me show you the recruits. So you kind of just pick which guy, like what position you want, or if, if, if there's a certain guy you really like. So if I have any of these guys I'm recruiting you specifically want, like if you want this 81 halfback, I don't know how much I like this 81 halfback because his speed and acceleration is kind of low. He's just really good at everything else. Any of these athletes, tackles. So if you really were in love with any of these players, you could take one of these players. But if I were you, I'd probably just take somebody who's already on the team. You want any halfback? Let's go look at the halfbacks, though. One named Raymond Harvey, right? That doesn't seem like a, a made name. So, like, all three of these quarterbacks are available. This guy's a redshirt freshman, so I'd say... I think I really like this Tyler Rollins. I'm, I'm hoping somebody should name this quarterback. I think he's going to be my future starter once he's uh, old enough, once these guys move on to the NFL. Um, halfbacks, we have a whole bunch of seniors and juniors. So here we go. We have a freshman who's we have a freshman Jerry Green, and this guy's kind of low, seventy four. He might actually get cut. If I have a roster crunch, this guy might get cut. So this is looking like your best best guy, speed eighty eight. You'll take Jerry Green? Okay. I'm, I'm going to, just in case everyone else is watching, I'm going to go through the other freshmen that are available too. Um, so this tight end is a freshman. He's available. If anyone loves offensive alignment, here's a 76 and a 71. 67. Jeez, why is he on the roster? Uh, 81. He's still a freshman. What's the starter? The starter's a senior. So this guy will be the starter next year. Uh, right guard, 77 as a freshman. 77 right tackle as a freshman. 71, 70. We'll have a lot of young offensive linemen. I'll blast this guy. He already took him. Blasphemy, you're not in chat, are you? I don't remember if I've asked you yet if you wanted to actually pick a name. Otherwise, I'd probably name this guy Blasphemy 6 or something. Uh, freshman there. Oh, wasn't there a really good D-tackle freshman? This guy? Oh, both of these guys. Oh, this guy's already been taken. <laughs> Someone named him. Uh, I guess I know who named him. I think this rubber duck named him. So we have an 85 redshirt freshman. He'll be the starter next year. 75, 74. These linebackers are not very good. Oh, this guy. Somebody could name this guy. He's a freshman. He'll be a starter for the... Like, he already plays a lot as the second middle linebacker. And next year, he'll be the complete starter. This guy could be named. He's a freshman. Courtney Green. This is one of my favorite players. I've been debating whether, like, if people don't take certain players, if I'm just going to name them myself... It's like, no, nah, I probably shouldn't. I should probably leave all the good players available for you guys. Because he's a freshman, and he's, like I said, he's already on the field a lot as the third corner. He's good. A couple freshmen there. A freshman free safety there. Freshman strong safety there. So that's what you get with the uh, the freshman or the recruit button. It's only 1,000 points. So it's cheaper than a sophomore or a junior or senior because you have to wait longer for them to actually get playing time. Like, you're going to have to wait a season or two. So that's why it costs less. So if you ha save up the extra, like, 2,000 channel points, then you're more likely to get, like, an immediate starter. All right, so you said the half back. And then we can pick whatever name you want for him. 
could be a, a celebrity, it could be an actual football player, it could be a former, it could be like a baseball player, it could just be a funny name, named after yourself. Like Rubber Duck likes to do uh, funny names, like huge ass. And I don't remember who picked Scary Alvarez. I think it was uh, Coach Playa, probably. Name him Scary Alvarez. I <laughs> just want to call him Big Apple. <laughs> All right. And do you have a jersey number? It's like I was saying with Hunter, it's like you can pick a jersey number as long as somebody else hasn't already taken that jersey number for their named player like if just a random player has that jersey number then i'll take it away but if it's something that somebody else already wanted 15. Mm. big green no not big green let's go big apple Fifteen. and i think some streamers they'll do like, you can boost up their stats. I don't boost up any of the stats, like skills. I don't mess with that. I just want the player, like, because I want to play the game as is. Like, I want to try to recruit the best players, sign the best players, and play with them. Uh, so we got, yeah, Big Apple, number 15. All right. So he is red shirting this year. If it's a blow up, that's a, that's a good idea. Um,. Yeah, so we got this, this this guy's a senior and this guy's a senior. So they're they'll both be gone. So next season we'll have two seniors next season. But then that's it. Then all four of these guys would be gone. So it'll just be you plus all those uh athletes that I'm recruiting right now. Like this guy would be a running back, and I think a couple of these other guys will be running backs too. You remember his name is gonna break school records. I sure I hope so. I hope I stay at Wisconsin and can bring a national title to Wisconsin. Uh what was I gonna look at? I was gonna try to see my school records for that wide receiver. Players of the week. There it is. School record for most receiving yards in a game. Huge ass. 312. Lee Evans. God, I was in high school when Lee Evans played for Wisconsin. He was so good. He played in the NFL for a long time, too. He played for Buffalo most of his whole career or most of his career. Jared Aberderis. I went to the Rose Bowl against Oregon that Jared Aberderis played in. That was when uh, they had Russell Wilson as the quarterback. All right, did we get both of you guys set? Let's check it out. What's your NFL team? Uh, I like uh, Green Bay, the Packers. And I've told people, like, I haven't been watching that much NFL the past three-ish years. I've been so focused on college football. But I'm playing fantasy football again this year, so I'm going to have to start watching NFL again. And plus, I live in Wisconsin, so it's kind of hard to avoid Packers news. <laughs> like, being a sports fan in Wisconsin, you're going to hear about Packers news regardless. So it's like, I do know a decent amount of stuff about the team anyway. Um, so I was just trying to check. Halfback, we've got Big Apple. He's from Texas. And he is redshirting this year. And then, what did Hunter take? Hunter took the receiver. Richard Freshman from Oregon. All right, so like I said, you guys are young. They're not going to be playing yet. They have to wait their turn, but they'll they'll move on up. What about hockey? I have not watched NHL in a long time. I barely even watch college hockey. 
It's hard to watch college hockey on TV. There's not much TV coverage for college hockey. It's much easier for me to just uh, walk the like two miles. How, I wonder how far it is. Don't stalk me. I'm going to look up uh, directions. To the Cole Center. 1.3 miles. I can just walk 1.3 miles to go in person to a college hockey game. Yuri Otters, is that uh, AAHL? Like the minor league hockey? All right, enough messing around. Let's play Washington. As you guys know, Oregon and Washington recently announced they're moving to the Big Ten. And that's what we did right away in our dynasty here. We put Oregon and Washington in the Big Ten, along with USC and UCLA, who have actually been in here for many, many years already up to, at this point. So we have a 16-team Big Ten. We would put all 18 in if we could, but this game does not let us do that. So 16 is the max. So the teams we don't have in are Rutgers and Maryland, but we have everybody else in. I kind of mixed up the divisions a little bit. Minnesota is somehow number one in the country. So kind of a battle <laughs> uh, between teams towards the bottom of this division. I've got Washington and then I've got Oregon next. So there you go, the two uh, new teams in the conference. Washington and Oregon. It's minor. Yeah, I think Milwaukee has a AHL team. What's the SEC? Oh yeah, and I did the accurate SEC too. That reminds me, I'm, I have a command for conferences that I have not updated. Conferences. That is definitely not an updated spreadsheet. I mean, that, this is what the conferences were last year. <laughs> but then the Pac-12 news all came out. Oregon and Washington leaving. Arizona, Arizona State, Utah, Colorado. All that news came out. And I, I was like, oh, I've got to do this in my dynasty. I've got to switch everything. So the SEC has all 16 teams. Which is what they're going to be in real life in 2024. So we've got Georgia, Florida, Kentucky, South Carolina, Missouri, Alabama, Tennessee, Vandy. West, Texas, and Oklahoma on the top. The newcomers. I want to say in this dynasty, I had Texas and Oklahoma in this SEC for many, many years. And then on that conference sheet, you can see I formed the Big Eight and the Southwest. Like the Southwest Conference broke up in like the early 1990s. Um,. So that's where I put Texas for a while. Oklahoma, I put them in the big eight. So I was messing around with some old timey conferences. Do you get paid for ads? A little bit. <laughs> Not a lot, but yes, it does help. It does support me. For any streamer, they'll say like, if you have a... Uh... Like if you have uh amazon prime subscription you can use that to, for one sub on twitch or if you have five bucks you can sub too that's uh we get about 50 percent of that money i'm not sure how they do the ads i'm sure amazon twitch takes a lot of the ad revenue but we do we do get a little bit of the uh ad money okay so i had this debate Who's so we look at the West? Which of these eight teams in the West would you want to switch with Alabama? So East, these are all teams in the East. Like obviously Georgia and Florida are very Eastern. South Carolina is very Eastern. So if we're doing if we're sticking with East and West, we don't have to stick with East and West. This is just what I did for this year. Texas and Texas AM are very West. Louisiana is right next to Texas. Arkansas, right next to Louisiana and Texas. And Oklahoma, right next to Texas. 
And then we get to the next state over is Mississippi. So we've got Mississippi State and Ole Miss. And then you get to the Alabama school. So either Auburn or Alabama, like mathematically. Tradition. Yeah, I mean, I could probably switch it up next year. Actually, I probably will switch it up next year. Because like the Big Ten, I didn't do East and West for the Big Ten. Hey, this way you get more, you get a guaranteed Georgia Alabama game every year. Alabama's struggling this year. Oh, they lost to Georgia. Dude, they got killed by Georgia. Yeah, yeah, Saban definitely retired. I think he. If you start a dynasty with this college football revamp mod, Saban usually retires within like five seasons. Like, usually less than five seasons, he's gone. <laughs> you know, in real life, I think. Ooh, big game against Air Force. That might be a tough one for Army. Texas, Oregon, Georgia, Florida. Rutgers' only loss is to me? That's weird. I beat them 23-20. Ohio State lost to UCLA. So I know for sure the first four seasons of this dynasty, Ohio State won the title twice and Alabama won the title twice. So kind of interesting now to see Alabama struggling, Ohio State struggling for the second year in a row. Like maybe those schools are finally uh, taking a downturn. Miami, Ohio was good again. They were good last year. Dude, there was uh, one year like Georgia, Alabama, LSU, and Tennessee were all like super super good and like almost four almost got all four teams like because we do eight playoff spots we almost had four sec teams in we only we only put in three but it was close all right let's welcome washington into the big 10 first time wisconsin's playing washington as in a big 10 conference game They got me curious about the the ads. Let's go see how much. I get. Yeah, it looks like, so if I just do the previous seven days, from August 8th to August 14th. I don't remember which days I streamed or like how long I streamed for on those days, but it shows they're giving me $5.39 from ads in just the past week, which is actually more than I expected. So there you go. Seven days before that, they're giving me at one dollar and one cent for ads. I mean, obviously it varies depending on like how long, how many hours I actually put on. But I bet like some people, if you regularly stream like six hours every day and you average like a hundred viewers, then you're going to be making more than $5 a week in ad revenue. 
Like, they haven't even been around a year yet. Twitch is telling me the ad break is over. I don't know. I swear, I, this is the first time I've been seeing this where Twitch will like put up a little notification by the chat saying that there's an ad in progress. Yeah, okay. And, it, and it's been showing me a timer like one minute or one minute 30 seconds. I'm like, is that accurate? <laughs> A lot of the stuff Twitch does, I'm like, I'm doubting how accurate this is. But it, yeah, you said we're back at about that exact same time, so I think that might be accurate. Oh! Dude, somebody else flipped over last game, too. Okay, so to finish what I was saying about, like, subscribing and watching ads and giving bits and stuff, it's like... Only do what you are comfortable with or what you can afford if you have, ooh, catch that, if you have any extra spending money. Otherwise, 90% of streamers that I watch, <laughs> sounds weird to say it, but I can't support them. I do not have very much extra mo spending money. And if I did subscribe to every single person, that I like wanted to on Twitch, I would be broke and I would have to live on the street because I would not have enough money left to pay my bills. So it's like, I, I just do as much as I can. But as far as like what helping out the streamers, it's like, yeah, you watch the ads, you do whatever you can. For me, it's more like motivation of like, if I did a if I did a stream and I got ten people to sub subscribe, I'd be like, "Oh my god, this is the most subs I've ever gotten in one stream. This is awesome. I want to make all these people happy. I want to stream every night this week. I want to like give people free play. Like it kind of like makes me want to give back to the community. Like not only." stream more often get online more often but also like do things in game maybe like go download fortnite or call of duty or whatever you guys wanted to play but anyway i don't want to random ramble on about subs and stuff Make it sound like I'm begging for money, which I'm not. Should have thrown it sooner. Dang. If I'd thrown it sooner, it would have been completed. Good evening, random. Speaking of people who donate bits. And watch ads and stuff. Mr. Random Nomad, offensive coordinator himself. I think B was open pretty much that whole time. I should have just thrown it to B. I don't know what play to run. Hey, random, guess what? Guess how long of a winning streak we're on? Well, we're on a winning streak. One victory in a row. Oh, it's bouncing around. Can't redeem any of your channel points? I was... Oh, no, no. A couple of people have redeemed channel points. Apple redeemed a uh, claim a player channel point thing. What yard line am I on? Should I be going for this fourth down? Oh, yeah. Yes, I should. Oh, actually, I know what play I want to run. I've been trying to figure out good... Uh, like 
fourth and ten types of plays. Where is it? Is it trips four wide receiver? There it is. Middle slant. Oh, yes. <laughs> this play's so good. I love that play. Hey, hey, hey. We're on a winning streak, random. We just beat Nebraska. Right, Apple? Apple, you tell them what the final score was, Apple. We slaughtered Nebraska. 42 to something? <laughs> Actually, I don't remember what the final score was either because we scored a touchdown in the last play of the game. <laughs> kind of ran up the score a little bit. I think... Did they get a touchdown near the end of the game? They only had three for the longest time. So yeah, probably like 42 to 3. 40, 42 to 10. Run up the score. See, I normally, like everybody else, every other streamer I watch, they're always running up the score, and I usually don't. But we had a receiver with over 200 yards receiving. So I threw a couple bombs to him, and the last one he caught for a 97-yard touchdown. <laughs> so he ended up with over 300 yards receiving, setting a new school record. Add stats. When when the last time you stream enlisted? Ooh, it's been at least a week. I wanna say when the new the new um battle pass season started and they didn't have the major update. And we were Oh, I missed. And we had been pretty convinced that the major update, merge, whatever you want to call it, was coming at the end of the last uh, Battle Pass season. So when the new Battle Pass season started and they didn't have the major update, oops, I did not mean to dive there. We were, we were kind of disappointed, so. So yeah kind of lost its luster right now it's like oh man i was really like excited to roll right into the merge with all the new tech tree and everything get them get them get them get them end of the first quarter why not pad the stats well one if it's a close game <laughs> i'm afraid i'll throw a pick six and end up losing the game or i'll fumble the ball and lose the game and my e my ego is too fragile. I don't want to blow a game if there's a chance I might lose it. And then if if I'm up if I'm up by like three touchdowns, I'm like, what the hell is going on here? I I'm never up by three touchdowns, so I don't want to ruin my karma by trying to run up the score. I don't know. I think the real answer is I'm just never up by enough points to try to pad stats. Usually I'll just start running the ball a lot, let the, let the clock run down. Ball's an itch, you gotta make that tackle. They're punting? Well, it's, this is going in the end zone, right? There it goes into the end zone. One bounce, and in. So yeah, if I, if I have a big lead, I usually just end up running the ball a lot, letting the clock run down, just so I can get to the next game quicker. I always have this thing in the back of my head, like, I feel like I don't play enough games for you guys. Like, a lot of times I'll just play two games and then be done for the night. Block for me, block for me. Keep blocking for- Oh! <laughs> it's too busy worrying about the guys ahead of me, not enough about the guy behind me.
Yes, yeah, so I have always have this thing in the back of my head, like, ooh, like I'm, I'm feeling good today. I have lots of energy today. I'm playing well. Maybe I can get in like three games tonight, or maybe I could even play four games tonight. So then, if I'm blowing somebody out, I'm always like, okay, let's keep the clock moving. Keep the clock moving. Run the ball, run the ball, so I can get to the next game quicker. I think I've been lately too, too dependent on Rockstar, rock stars, and energy drinks and stuff, and like that stuff starts to wear off, and I'm like, all right, I'm done. I kind of just want to watch TV and go to bed. Or if I think if I started drinking more water and eating healthier and stuff, then I'd like have energy naturally and be able to stream longer. Let's go with Z spot. Uh, let's see. Okay. I've been meaning to watch an endless stream. I'm back. I like monsters. Dude, Apple, weren't you the one that said you also like monsters? Like, I keep seeing rock stars on sale at the grocery store, and I buy them. And it's like, oof. So I'm really get, trying to get serious about eating better, taking better care of my body, so I stop gaining weight. But then it's like, ooh, I should probably uh buy... I don't even know what they call them, like V8, or, you know, like... Healthy drinks, basically. No, oh, he needed to block him for like one more second. I could have run around the outside. There's so many new energy drinks, yeah. Because streamers like to partner with them and advertise them. So we are like the main demographic of, like the main target. <laughs> when they come out with any drinks, who do we target? Video game players, video game streamers, and people who watch them. There we go. There we go. Get out there. Block for me, 87. Number one, Minnesota crushing Iowa. Dude, I swear, if Minnesota wins a national championship and I get fired, <laughs> it'd be like the worst thing that could happen to a Badgers fan. Get fired from your favorite school and your rival school wins the national championship. Right. I like V8. Rain. I've seen rain. I like the design of the rain cans. Let's talk healthy drinks. What, what healthy drinks do you like the design of? Water? Milk? What kind of stuff do I need to start buying? There we go. There we go. When do you play Minnesota? I think it's the second to the last game. So I'll probably not get to Minnesota tonight. I say when we just looked at the schedule, I was like, all right, I'm feeling pretty good. We'll probably get uh, after this game is the Oregon game. We'll probably get the Oregon game in. I don't know about anything after the Oregon game. Mainly I drink coffee in the morning. See, I wish I liked coffee. People that can get up in the morning or swear by coffee, like it's the best thing in the morning to drink. I'm like, yeah, sure. You move Washington and Oregon, the Big Ten? Yes, sir. You know, before I started this game, I should have updated that conference, that Google sheet with the conferences. Wow, okay. Washington does not appear to be very good. <laughs> Washington appears to be really bad. Just... 
almost every read option, I'm getting like 15 yards. Cool. Did you exp Yep. Yeah, that's the, the main thing I did for Comets realignment this past offseason was the Big Ten, the Big 12, and the SEC. Get them accurate for like 2024. So Apple, we were just showing Apple the uh, the SEC. It's got 16 teams. He wasn't happy that uh, Texas and Oklahoma joined the West. So then they had an extra team. So I needed to move somebody to the East. So, so I moved Alabama to the East. And he's like, oh, you're breaking the uh, traditions. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah. Conference realignment really does break a lot of traditions. That's why a lot of people complain about it. You're breaking up the history, the rivalries, the tradition. Things that have been such... Ooh, 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 ooh. Things that have been this way for 100 years or have been this way for 40 years. It's like, yeah. Things change. Rivalries end. New rivalries start. No, 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 no. Second in inches. Making a bagel. Dude, I, I had a bagel today. I had a bagel, and then, then I went out and ran my errands. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's, looks like he's out of bounds, actually. You think in the uh, Auburn Alabama rivalry? Keep that one. Yeah. Real time, I thought it was a catch, and then they showed the replay. I'm like, dude, that's not even close. Like, Bullock. No way. <laughs> That's not an interception. Oh, no way. I was just about to say Bullock, who knocked that play down, is that freshman middle linebacker I was talking about would be a good idea for someone to take. The other guy? There is no way. So Bullock knocks it down, and this other guy comes running in. Is that Courtney Green? The other defender, freshman, that someone should take. <laughs> that hits the ground. Oh. There's no way that's an interception. I think I should run a play quick. Before they overturn that one, uh, I think that's just one of those weird interceptions. They're going to call it an interception, huh? Uh, okay. Sorry, I got distracted by this random interception. Uh, Pac 12 is ruined now. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's been saying that they're just going to collapse. Those other four schools are going to leave and go somewhere else. And I'm still saying, like, I'm not saying the Pac 12 is dead until it actually happens. I think that name has value. They can at least sell the name to a different conference or they can merge with another conference and keep the Pac-12 name. Jesus, bad throw. Put protected rival on, keep the major, uh, that sounds good. That's not a catch. And Tennessee. So I think the protected rivalry only is one school at a time. So I think when I've looked at it in the past, when I've been messing around with the conferences, it's like, it's only one school, one rivalry per team. And every single team then has to have one. It's like some of these schools in these conferences don't need a protected rivalry. So it's like, as far as I could tell, you couldn't only do it for Alabama. Fourth and inches, huh? I'm going for it. Uh, Random Nomad, what do you think about 
full back dive. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I don't know how many teams are in the Mountain West. Are there like 12 teams in the Mountain West? But I can barely e easily see. Oh, okay, let me think about pl my play calling here. I'm going to try to score a touchdown. Um, so what, the 12 Mountain West teams merge with the four Pac-12 teams? And obviously the Pac-12 name has more value to it, so they just call themselves the Pac-12? Yeah, something like that. Or if the Pac if the uh, Mountain West has too many teams, maybe the four Pac-12 schools could come to an agreement with like the best six Mountain West or the best eight Mountain West teams. Be like, hey, you guys are invited to come over here. Just don't bring those other losers with you. The Mountain Twelve. <laughs> uh. The Pack Mountain 12. Let's do one more read option. I've still got two timeouts. So. Okay, never mind. That didn't work. I'm actually going to let the clock run a little bit. Since I didn't get the first down. Oh, I actually... Uh, shit. Z-spot. There it is. Did not mean to do a hurry-up offense. That works. Sterling Silver. That's your guy. Random. I think out of... At least out of all the offensive players you've named, Sterling Silver's gotten the most screen time. Yeah, I'd say for the Mountain West isn't too terribly known for football. I mean, it is, but it isn't. I'd say a couple of their teams, it is. But certainly, like, the bottom is not. That's, that's what I was saying after the first two touchdowns. I was like, Washington is not stopping my run game at all. Dude, in week two... Oh, come on. In real life football in week two this year, Wisconsin is going to play at Washington State. And I could really use a game like this because Wisconsin lost to Washington State last year. So this is the second game of like a home and home. Oh, I missed. Good, 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 good. Wazoo. Because was like I keep saying, Wisconsin has a new head coach this year, and like a new offensive style, new quarterback. So week one is against Buffalo, a MAC team. So that's really not going to tell you much. But week two at Washington State, which is still <laughs> there, is still a Pac-12 this season. So it's like the first Wisconsin's first game against a Power Five team. So it's like, here we go. It's our first opportunity to make a statement. It's new coach, new offense. Try to get revenge for losing last year. Which now you have to uh, catch yourself <laughs> saying like power five. It's like, is Washington State still going to be power five in two years? Like, is there going to be a Pac-12? Are they just going to be in the Mountain 12? Ooh. But Apple, if you, uh, oh, that's what I was saying in my, in one of my other streams recently, I was like, for the new college football game that EA is making, please just let us 
set up the conferences however we want as far as whether we want divisions or don't want divisions. You know, protracted rivalries just like give us more flexibility. Because the way it is now, like you have a 16 team conference, the game just automatically puts it in divisions and gives you a conference championship game. I'm like, what if I want a 14 team conference and no divisions? Or I want a 10 team conference, no divisions, but I do want a conference championship game. It's like they they don't they don't give you that option. It's just all automatically set. So I was gonna ask Apple if uh if you were to set up the S and C, what would you make the divisions? Like give me a list. It's like you could do just keep it east and west, and I think you said you wanted to switch Arkansas with uh Alabama. Which would be fine. But you could also just totally not even keep the east-west alignment anymore. Just totally make it random or something. Come on. There we go. Now we're going to... Fumble! Gotta have at least 12 teams in this game. Yeah. It's like you go from 10 to 12... It automatically gives you divisions and a conference championship game. But if you have less than that, then it's just one list. There we go. Barkley's got some moves. You watch Wisconsin wrestling? No, I don't. Are they, are they good this year? When I grew up in, I was in the Minneapolis, St. Paul, like news area. Dang. So it'd be a lot of Minnesota news and like Minnesota, I always had good wrestling. Minnesota and Iowa, I always had good wrestlers. At least uh, when I was growing like early 2000s, maybe even late 90s, but de definitely early 2000s. I think they're ranked pretty good. That's cool. 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 One yard, sweet. Unless you do 12 teams in the independent, then they. Oh. <laughs> That'd be tough to run that. The 12 team independent conference. Nice. And Oklahoma State. Are you talking about random? Are you talking about wrestling too? That Oklahoma State's good? Apple's a big NCAA wrestling fan? Well, maybe I'll have to give it a try sometime. See, the reason I kind of took a step back and stopped watching a lot of NFL games is because I was overloaded. I'm like, I'm watching way too many sports. I'm going to have to cut out some of these sports. So, like, I stopped watching hockey, I stopped watching NFL. It's like, I'm going to focus on college basketball, pro basketball, college football, uh, pro baseball, and maybe a little college baseball. Oh, God, I tried to pitch it. If I wasn't dominating this game, I wouldn't have tried the uh, speed option. Oh. My bad. That's my fault. Random, you're still subbed, right? Yep, you're still subbed, so you're not getting the ad break right now. You're still here. Oh! Damn. Bucks, yes sir. So I started following the Bucks after they had got Giannis, 
but before they won the championship, before they won their title. Just, why are these defenders not going after this guy? They're just standing there. Army beats Air Force. Wow, okay. I kind of thought Army was going to lose that game. Um, Because I grew up, like I said, in the Minnesota news area, so I was a Timberwolves fan. But, like, nobody in my family was that big of a basketball fan. And I just gave up on the Timberwolves after a while. I'm like, they're never going to figure this out. <laughs> they're never going to be good. So I'm like, I'm just... I'm a Wisconsin fan for pretty much everything else. I might as well like a Wisconsin basketball team. Plus, they have this guy, Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's amazing. It'll be a lot of fun to cheer for this team. And what do you know? Like, two years later, they won the championship. I'm like, yeah, this is definitely fun. This is definitely the right team. Let's go. Keep them off the scoreboard. Brewers are twins. I am still a big twins fan. I'm not going to abandon my twins. It's been Iowa and, and Penn State, really. But it's basically like, are the Big Ten schools the best in the country at wrestling? Mm. For a second there, uh, the background music sounded just like my raid music. I'm like, I'm not getting raided right now. I'm like, it's only midnight. Usually I don't get raided until like late at night when people are getting off. Sterling Silver, 14 yards. Pretty much Michigan too. There we go. At least the Big Ten dominates at something. Because I know they're not very good at baseball. Nice. Tell you that middle slant play. It's working so well. Yeah, so it's like baseball has been my favorite sport basically my whole life. Um, college football and college basketball are kind of creeping up on it, but still, they're at least in a tie for favorite sport. There we go, there we go. And Minnesota's new stadium opened in 2010, so it's only 13 years old, and they keep, they keep it updated. They keep, like, adding something new, at least one new thing every year. So I really like going to games at their new stadium. Seymour Cox, second and one. So yeah, my, my fandoms are all split between Minnesota teams and Wisconsin teams, but like me switching from Timberwolves to Bucks, now it's kind of heavily, like, almost everything is Wisconsin now. Except for the Twins. Still, Twins are number one for me. Blasphemy, breaking tackles. So besides the Big Ten schools, is like the Big Big Twelve. Like I don't can't imagine the SEC being good at it. Oh, I thought I could get in. <laughs> Definitely could have just thrown to my receiver, but I'm kind of in screw around point because we're up 28 and it's almost the fourth fourth quarter. I might just let the quarter run out, actually. So it's like SEC has football and baseball. SEC is also good at baseball. 
but they're just kind of average at basketball. They don't have any schools. So it's like SEC doesn't do hockey. Uh, I guess college soccer. I don't know anything about college soccer. I was trying to think of like major sports. Let's try some slants. Why am I trying slants? I forgot how close I was. <laughs> There it is. Somebody got open. Seymour Cox. Big Ten S football, hockey, basketball. Yeah, the uh, college hockey landscape is weird. Because they don't have the traditional like football conferences like SEC, ACC, Pac-12, that sort of thing. They don't have that. Purdue with the upset of USC. There we go. Classic Big Ten matchup there. So, like, they had all these other, like, college hockey conferences that have been around forever. And then the Big Ten was like, you know what? A lot of our, you know, our Wisconsin's, our Minnesota's, our Michigan's, they all play Division One hockey. Why don't we just start a Big Ten hockey conference? So they did that. They have seven schools, I want to say. They have Notre Dame in there. So seven schools, including Notre Dame. But it's like Wisconsin and Minnesota left the WCHA. Which, where, where is my defense? Which Wisconsin and Minnesota had great rivalries in the WCHA with North Dakota's and like Minnesota State, like all these schools that are uh, division one for hockey, but not like football or anything else. So it's like the North Dakota rivalry, the Minnesota Duluth, the Minnesota State. Ooh. And then like Nebraska, but not Nebraska. It's Nebraska Omaha, different college. And Colorado College, not Colorado. So it's like they had all these rivalries with schools that are not major in any sport except for college hockey. So they kind of like lost all those rivalries by just going to play the, the Big Ten. Thing. And then like Michigan, Michigan State and Ohio State had been in the CCHA and they left to join the Big Ten. So they lost all their CCHA rivals like... I think I remember who was in there. I don't think Michigan Tech was in there. Damn. But it's like a lot of old school traditional college hockey rivalries got broken when the Big Ten decided to form their own hockey conference. But yeah, so the college hockey landscape. Yes, there is a Big Ten hockey conference, but the rest of them. <laughs> so at the NCHC, National Collegiate Hockey Conference, is one of the good ones. And Hockey East and uh, ECHC, Eastern Collegiate Hockey Conference, something like that. So those are all like the, the traditional like Northeastern schools. So if you were, if you were a traditional, what? Nightbot deleted a message. Oh, you posted a link. Big Ten WCHA. Oh yeah, Hockey East. Stop him, stop him, stop him. I don't want Washington to score. Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio State, Penn State, Notre Dame, and uh, Michigan State as well. You missed Michigan State. But yeah, that's... Dang, touchdown. That's the seven. Yes. 
<laughs> yeah. I have looked at that stuff too, where like Alabama, Huntsville, Arizona State, and then there's a couple of Alaska schools. I think they, they sometimes they try joining a conference and then it just, oh, okay. Splitter Gopher. I was not expecting an onside kick. Five minutes left. Yeah. Um, but I was saying, I think a lot of them end up going independent. Because if they join a conference, and then a lot of the schools complain that they have to travel so far. So it's like, you can go independent and then schedule a bunch of those teams in the conference. But if, say if, say if there's like a 10-team conference and three of them don't want to travel to go play you... And it's like, okay, well, you three don't have to schedule it. The other seven can still schedule you when you're independent. Kind of works out better for that that way, I think, for the schools that are super far away. Alaska Anchorage and Alaska Fairbank. Yeah, yep. Yes, sir. I feel like Alaska Anchorage used to be in the WCHA with Wisconsin, but I could be wrong. I should have thrown that ball a lot sooner. Whoops. Like, I remember going to Wisconsin hockey games and they're playing Alaska Anchorage and it's like, what the heck? Why are you guys coming so far? Like, we usually play teams from Michigan or Minnesota. Occasionally, you'll play teams, you know, from Nebraska or Colorado. Or Ohio, Miami of Ohio. I think it's pretty cool that, like, a lot of the MAC football schools are all D1 for hockey, and it's like, they're actually respected, whereas in MAC football's not like respected the same level as all the other D1. Can we get this touchdown? No, we cannot. Um, but as far as like college hockey, as far as I know, they're not looked at as like second class. Middle hook. Let's see if this works. Uh, it worked. I didn't. I only gained two yards. Huntsville doesn't play college park anymore. Oh, they don't play college hockey anymore. They shut down. Yeah, I'm wondering if they were kind of hoping, like some other southern schools would start up hockey programs, so they had some closer schools to play. Yeah, that's, Bowling Green is one of those teams I was thinking of. Saquon Barkley gets the touchdown. But yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, Miami of Ohio, Bowling Green. But even doesn't, like, Eastern Michigan... Don't they have a team? Gosh darn, now you're going to get me to go pull up this conference. I didn't want to confuse all my college football viewers by pulling up these hockey conferences, but I think I'm about to do that right now. Let's get a uh, display capture. Good old USCHO. Division one men standings. Oh, I forgot about Atlantic. So all these north, like northeastern schools, north they've got Atlantic hockey, Army, Army and Air Force are in Atlantic hockey. There's your Big Ten. Oh yeah, and the CCHA. So like when the schools left to form the Big Ten, CCHA is one that like got all the leftovers. So Bowling Green's in the CCHA with Michigan Tech. 
Bemidji State, that's Minnesota. Minnesota State, obviously. St. Thomas, that's right. That's a Minnesota school. That's what I was thinking. I was just talking to somebody on stream the other day about St. Thomas moving up. I think it was Blasphemy, actually. St. Thomas moved up to Division One for all sports. And they like have, have done decent in basketball so far. They're FCS for football. I'm like, oh yeah, and hockey. Hockey, they moved up. Northern Michigan. So that's what I like about like Division One hockey. You have Northern Michigan, Michigan Tech, Minnesota State, uh, Minnesota Duluth, I believe, is in the NCHC. Minnesota Duluth, Western Michigan, Miami of Ohio, North Dakota, St. Cloud, another Minnesota. Like Minnesota has so many D1 hockey programs. Denver. Hockey East has all of these Eastern ones. Boston College, Yukon. And then you got a lot of the Ivy schools here in the e ECAC. The Quinnipiac won a national title recently. Union. Didn't Union beat Wisconsin in the NCAA tournament one time? St. Thomas way to go. I might have, you might have said something about him too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it might've been you that was like saying that they were FCS, but I, I think it was blasphemy. was telling me like which football conference that, that they're in like the summit league for basketball with all the, like the North Dakota and South Dakota schools. All right, so that's NCHC, that's Hockey East, ECAC, Independent. We've got Arizona State still there, Alaska and Alaska Anchorage. Augustana, what's Augustana? They must be uh, a new team if they don't even have a link yet. CCHA, the big, so it's like, <laughs> what conference would want Arizona State? Because geographically, like everything is like Midwest or Northeast. Or mountain, like there's some Colorado schools. But like not even, not even like, I don't really see any Washington or Oregon schools here either. Which is weird because like Denver and Colorado College like Denver has been very good Denver won a national title like two years two or three years ago I know Denver won a national title and Colorado was always very good so it's like you would think more of uh, of like the mountain schools would want to join in because it wouldn't be that far to travel to North Dakota or Minnesota with all those Minnesota ones. That might be Minnesota or South Dakota, Augustana. Beat the Gophers. Quinnipiac beat the Gophers. Okay. <laughs> Won't let you say university? Uh, I wonder if I've messed up one of my bots. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm guessing. Is somebody that's just moving into the D1 ranks. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying, like, if, where's the independence? So if we're trying to find somewhere that would want Arizona State, it's like, there's nobody in the West or the South. So they're kind of just on their own. So even if they were to join the NCHC, like, they'd have the two Denver, or the two Colorado schools. But then you'd be going to Minnesota, Michigan... Ohio, Minnesota again. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that's uh, college hockey. I want to say 
Is that right? I think Wisconsin has a new coach for hockey, too. Like, right about the time that the Big Ten formed... Ooh, 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 ooh. Right about the time Big Ten formed a hockey conference? Did they just bumble that? 38 to nothing Minnesota beats Iowa. Jeez. Right about the same time the Big Ten formed a conference is when they got a new coach. And then Wisconsin was not good. Wisconsin had, like, one good hockey season in the last, like, 12 years. 10 years. So finally, our athletic director got rid of that hockey coach. So we have a... Oh, that's who we got. That's who we got. We got the... Uh, the coach that took Minnesota State uh, is the same as the basketball for women and men. So it's like, you have four sports all sharing the same arena. So they built a women's one right next to the men's. It's actually like attached together. It's pretty cool. Justice! Is that a one-handed catch? Okay, I didn't miss any chance, did I? How do you feel about being ranked 19th? Pretty happy. Yes, I like it. You're not making me look up stats. <laughs> You're tricking me into it by getting me talking. It was Duluth this year, the championship. 2023 was Duluth. All right, well, it says we're up to seven people. I suppose I could uh, play one more game, try to play the Oregon game. I am getting a little hungry. Maybe I should eat the rest of my dinner. Oh, did you guys? I'll pull up my Instagram. You guys should follow me on Instagram. You know, the typical, oh, here's my dinner. Let me post it on Instagram. But it's uh, this place I'd never been to before. Zero's on the board. And now we are on a two-game winning streak. Watch out. Wisconsin's coming for you, Oregon. I'm a certified depressant. Women's hockey for Gophers, yeah. Personally, I like... Um, Wisconsin has Laban Arena. I, I like Laban better than Ritter. But as far as, like, comparing <laughs> to a lot of facilities I bet these other teams are playing in, Ritter and LeBon are probably t two of the best. Which also probably helps them getting good recruits, too, if you have two of the best arenas. Apple's heading out. All right. Thank you for hanging out, Apple. Good to chat with you again. I wonder if St. Thomas is in the Big Ten for... Yeah, I don't know volleyball. I kind of see that. If you're watching on a computer, if not watching on your phone, it might be hard to see. But yeah, this is uh, Dave's Hot Chicken. So I got the combo meal that came with... Uh, they called it two sliders, but it was really like two gigantic chicken sandwiches. And I got a side of mac and cheese. Like they let you pick with the combo, either mac and cheese or fries. Or like pay extra for cheese fries or something. So I got the mac and cheese. And then it was some kind of sauce. <laughs> so I only ate one of the sandwiches. I ate one of the sandwiches and most of the mac and cheese. I'm like, oh my god, this is so good. But it's so filling. So I was going to save the rest for later. Are you streaming tomorrow? Um, it might be. Right now I'd say probably not. Right now, I'd say probably not, but there is a chance. Depending on like how much of my uh, errands and stuff I get done. 
don't have one or yeah I, this is a new one in madison and i tried looking up like where their locations are and apparently they have a ton of them just like in random places that are on the continent chart somewhere let me go check Any spice chart in there, but when I was ordering it, it was like no spice, very little, mild, medium, hot, and then like when it got past that, it was hot and something, something else, and it started getting into like the danger territory. So I could see people like trying to make videos about eating the crazy, dangerous levels of of uh, spiciness. Stupid auto text. Oh, yeah, I figured that was a uh, mistype. I was just gonna ignore it. I now stream on kick. Yes, sir. Number six, Oregon. Oh, they gave him a scholarship? Alright, take him off the list. Oh, I guess I could start recruiting this guy. Why am I recruiting this one instead? Oh, I've already given the... No, I haven't given these guys scholarships. Catching up with those guys. Catching up with this guy, too. Alright, Oregon trying to keep up with Minnesota to try to win the division. But they're going to have to come into Wisconsin and beat me. But they've still got the Oregon State game on the schedule. They're keeping that tradition going. Voice text came up. Too busy. Yeah, everyone wants to get into Division One for football. They want to get to where the money is. All right, let me pull up my... Let me see if I can use... Who's got the conference command? Conferences. Nightbot? <laughs> Actually, if I'm just making a new command, I might as well use bot tricks. Because bot tricks is also set up for kick, so I can use a lot, of, literally just the same exact command, whether I'm on kick or Twitch. So commands, we're going to add a command, schedule, and I'm not going to type out everything since the year's almost over here, so I'm just going to say remaining schedule is at Oregon versus Iowa at Minnesota. Versus Penn State. Confirm. And let's test it out. Nope, goddammit, I typed conferences again. <laughs> it's 
schedule. Due to the rapid growth we are experiencing, we are reaching the limits of the Twitch API and the chatbot may not work for some hours of the day. We've requested chatbot verification, verification from Twitch to fix it. We hope to have it resolved soon. Okay. So Botrix not getting along with Twitch is what they're telling me. Nightbot. All right, now we'll try it. There we go. Nightbot works. Mm, did we put Notre Dame? Oh, yeah, yeah no, they, they're not in the Big Ten. They were only in the Big Ten for like two or three years. I want to say we put them in the ACC. And we did. They're in the ACC for every other sport. Might as well be there for football, too. Johnson at Oregon. Big Ten. There, how's my typing there? Wisconsin at Oregon. Looks like. Stream title is updated. Rutgers is seven. Oh, they've been moving up the rankings. Good. They should win the Big East and help my rankings. You have, you're right. I know. <laughs> Weren't they in the uh, Rutgers? Or uh, Notre Dame. They might have been in the Big East for basketball. But uh, I'm thinking of like right now, Notre Dame's ACC for everything. Like volleyball, as far as I know, like everything, like volleyball, soccer, baseball, whatever. Yeah, except football. Look at all these Ducks fans. Lacrosse? Oh. What kind of craziness we have going on with lacrosse? Oh, I, isn't there like Big Ten lacrosse? Has like... Notre Dame and Johns Hopkins and like some of those other Northeast schools. You're hearing something about that when like Notre Dame was joining the Big Ten for hockey, for men's hockey. That they're like, oh yeah, and also we're going to do this weird lacrosse thing. There's the Big Ten McCurr. <laughs> oh, man, we're really delving down into all the nitty gritty of different sports, different conferences, same schools, everything. There was a dang. There was an article on The Athletic. 
was talking about like, hey, why doesn't, why don't all the football programs just like the take the top 60 football programs and have a separate league? Because that's kind of how it is anyway. All the players are going to transfer up as soon as they're good enough. Wow. Oregon's, Oregon's going to be much better than Nebraska and Washington were. But they were saying, like, oh, yeah, Notre Dame's already in the ACC for all these other sports. And, like, hockey's different for their conferences. It's like, all these conferences are different anyway. So if we're doing realignment, I don't know, you could start getting real crazy if the only thing that it affected was football. Valid point. Basketball, I bet you could probably still make some money. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, football makes the most money, and then basketball, March Madness time, makes money. Go upfield, guy. Okay, I guess I'll just run. <laughs> the defender's going to go with the receiver. I'll just run. Oh, my nose is really itching. Yes! Nice catch. Stan Gable's first pass of the game. Ohio State, Purdue. Purdue looking for their traditional upset of Ohio State. I think they've done it a couple times. What a kick by kick dicker to kicker. Alright, I know I didn't read. I missed a couple of these here. However, I would like to see... Yeah, get those California schools in some cold weather. For sure. Or at, in the Minnesota Stadium, Huntington? Yeah. The bank. Those road games are going to suck for either team, whether UCLA going out to Wisconsin, Minnesota going out to USC, vice versa. Yeah. I'm waiting to hear what they're going to do for the uh, football scheduling. Because before Oregon and Washington joined, they had all the USC and UCLA stuff figured out for the next, like, three, two or three years. And now they're going to have to redo it with Oregon and Washington in there. Because we had it with um, Wisconsin going to USC in 2024. And I was like, all right, well, I'm going to try to save up for a plane ticket and a game ticket and a hotel. I'm, I'm like, I want to go out to that game. And now it's like, oh, actually, that might that game might not happen that year. It might be pushed back a year or two. Like, ugh. Gonna redo all these schedules just to include Oregon and Washington. Like, I want to go to LA. I don't want to go to Eugene, Oregon. Oregon's weather is hit or miss. Oh, I bet a lot of the Northwest, Pacific Northwest weather kind of you can't predict. Could snow, could be raining, cold. Absolutely nice. Yeah, Washington's probably a lot of rain. I don't know exactly where Washington's campus is, but I assume it's fairly close to the water. I don't know. I could be wrong. To whatever they call it. What's that body of water up by Seattle called? Some kind of bay? Snap the ball, Oregon. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm not ready. I was not ready. <laughs> I was there, but I messed it up. Dang. It's in Seattle. I know, but like, is it on the... I guess it doesn't matter for weather purposes, whether it's on the water. I'm just curious. 
If it's like inland at all. You're gonna make me look up something else. UCLA versus Nebraska. Way too much time. Last me three with the play. Seattle University. Are they? Um, I want to say I've seen them Division One for basketball. Yeah, I think they're Division One for basketball. Come on, we cannot stop them. Grand Canyon's pretty good at basketball. I definitely have uh, bet on them several times to win, and they usually make me money. That's why Seattle's called the Sounders. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I would have thought of that. Would have made me remember Puget Sound. All right. Let's get those seven points back. <laughs> I know I'm going to I'm going to be awake all night if I'm never, never going to get this game done. Remember back in the good old days where uh, you couldn't just look something up? You just have to like argue about it forever and then never actually know what the truth was? Sweet. Let's, let's not block that guy. Can we take pauses to look at replays? D-tackle right in the middle. There's three guys there. Okay, well, guess one of them goes for the linebacker, but misses. Sweet. Justice is turning in for a pretty nice receiver. He's only a sophomore. Lock! Ooh! First down. Yeah, screw it. I'll do another read option. They're working. Eh. Mm. Okay, yeah. Thought about audibling. I'm, I'm gonna run it. Eh. How was I to know that wide receiver was gonna half-ass half -ass his block? Try middle slant. My new uh, my new secret weapon. There's a lot of DBs on the right. Maybe Cox will get open. I should have thrown it to Cox. What was I thinking? That's not a fumble. He threw it forward. Right when Cox makes the break to the left. I was already r rolling out, though. And then this Y receiver on that side is open. I'm like, all right, let's throw it. Dude, they called that a fumble. I'm mad. I'm going to try to let the stream play, but I think it's time to fall asleep. 
All right, I'll have to win this game without you then. Thank you for hanging out all night and chatting about college sports with me. We're on a two-game win streak. We could go 3-0 and today, and that would make me very happy to go 3-0 and in a night. All right. Shit. I just saw that guy sitting there. Okay, I think the read option is no longer working. That's twice in a row I've gotten stuffed. But now we can run some more stuff out of that formation, right? We can run the stick. Thought that guy was going outside. Watch him. So he's jamming the receiver at the line. And he gets around him. And look. He's oh god, he faked me out. He took one step outside and then was like, suck. Oh. That was a very nice play by them. I guess I can't even be mad. Also, I should have thrown to that receiver on the right, going deep. Oh, man. Oh. I'm just now seeing that would have been a touchdown. I'm going to run the same play? No. Five wide, bunch flood. That's what I'm saying. I can, uh, I'm still a chance to get bowl eligible. Seymour Cox, touchdown. Field goal range. Oh no! It's... I swear the game lagged a little bit. And then my uh, kick wasn't full power. Oof. The classic Duke's Mayo Bowl. Not only has Wisconsin been in that in real life, I think I've been in that in once with Wisconsin, once with Clemson, probably. I don't know. I should have done a better job keeping records throughout the seasons. So yeah, it's important to keep winning games here, even though we're probably out of the conference race and the playoff race, but it's still important to win games to try to get bowl eligible. But when I was one in five, I'm like, I don't know, I'm gonna get out of this. Like if I go three and nine, I'm probably gonna get fired. Like I was wondering how the coaches uh, contracts were. Cause like, I think I just signed an extension so I'm like, does that actually affect whether or not you've got likely to get fired or not, depending on how many years left of your contract you have? Like, that's the that's the math I was doing. I'm like, oh, can I not get fired here? So I think if we get to six wins... Six wins were definitely safe, because our first two years have been very good. So six wins were definitely safe. Five wins, it starts to get questionable. So if I could go ahead and just win the rest of my games, go seven to five, not have to worry about getting fired. Random, you're still here. You suppose I can stay awake till the end of the game? Yeah, we're almost at halftime. We're getting closer to halftime.
There we go. We're getting uh, good tackling here on these running plays. Dixon side or four tackles. Uh, actually, let's go dime defense. Oh, I was wondering who was 99 and was a linebacker. That's Dixon Sider. Courtney Green, freshman, can't make the catch. Bubba. Bubba Ultramotive. Yo, what is up? No rush. Catch the ball. <laughs> I mean, if I eventually get good enough, short, yes, where I turn up the sliders difficulty, like, I know things that get more difficult are <laughs> your DBs are going to be even less likely to catch interceptions, and the other team's DBs are going to be more likely to catch interceptions, so I'm mentally preparing myself to, like, never catch interceptions ever again. <laughs> Who's your team? Uh, in the game, in this game, I am Wisconsin. Also, my favorite team in real life, also Wisconsin. <laughs> uh, I point I pointed out myself because I think I'm usually wearing Wisconsin gear. This was a Madison soccer T-shirt, so not Wisconsin Badgers. That was a long, long four-yard run. Stupid kicker. Trying to those, make those long kicks. Halfback draw? Do you think halfback draw is going to work? L-S-U-S-E-C all the way. Dude, LSU. Oh, I was just on... Uh... Nope. No, halfback draw didn't work. I was looking at the records... Because one of my receivers in this game had a 300 yard receiving game, so I went to the records page. And, like, one of the first things you see is, like, passing touchdowns in a season. I'm like, does that say 60? <laughs> like, damn. Every once in a while, you forget Jer how damn good Joe Burrow and uh, those receivers were that year. I should have thrown it to A. And that's what I get. Let's go ahead and look at how wide open A was. He's on the right, but then he slants to the middle. There, he's looking good. Eh. Yeah, I think that easily could have got in there. I don't think the linebacker would have been able to drop back far enough. I don't think the safety would have been able to get there in time. One on one on the left. Damn. Do you, uh, you play this game at all, Bubba? And if you do, do you play the, the standard version? Or you, I, I have the uh, college football revamped mod is what I'm playing. I think there's a few other popular mods out there. What is it? There's like a... 2010 mod is for basketball and the 06 mod is for football. But yeah, this is the 14 COD football revamped mod. Sadly not. Ah, uh, so you're, you're stuck watching everybody else play. At least until next year when the EA's new game comes out. Marcus. But yes, uh... Wisconsin or Minnesota is where I've lived my whole life. That's where the MW and the Splitter MW comes from. Minnesota and Wisconsin. Trying to get a quick pass off there. But yeah, I currently live in uh, Madison, Wisconsin, where the university is. I moved here it's almost three years now.
<sighs> Actually, literally, <laughs> literally, like almost to the day, three years now, because, uh, like, I live in the downtown campus area. I live near the football stadium and everything. And, like, everybody's year leases starts, like, right around, like, August 15th, usually. Because then people have, like, a couple weeks before classes start for the fall semester. It's like, oh, yeah. So right around, like, August 15th, a lot of people are moving in or moving out of all these apartments around here. From southwest Louisiana. Well, there you go. That That makes sense. Isn't LSU just huge in the entire state? Like, everybody loves, like, lives and dies with LSU, basically. Ah! Cause I'm getting uh, getting up up there in age now. I'm in I'm in my 30s, and I'm kind of getting the point of like starting to think. Okay, sometime before I'm 70 years old, I want like I want to do this in my life. I want to do this in my life, and it's like you know going to LSU or Alabama or something. Like I gotta go down. Like it doesn't even have to be against Wisconsin. It could just be any random random game. Ten, nine, eight. Come on. Interception. Pressure. Sack him. Keep him out of the end zone. One second left. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, going down to Florida. I don't know. I'd have to do some research to see like which kind of uh, city I would like the best, or which kind of game day atmosphere I'd like the best. Probably not Bama, actually. It'd probably be the most expensive. <laughs> it's a known up place around here. They like considered your biggest rival like the team you want to beat more than anybody else. I suppose Texas A&M hasn't been in the conference long enough for it to be that uh, much of a rivalry. Arkansas has never been, like, good enough. Right? Like, LSU, Ar Arkansas is not that huge of a rivalry just because LSU has always been better. All right, down seven. Oh, and the Saints. I didn't see that Yeah, Drew Brees is probably a legend. See, I must not have been a smart college fan or a knowledgeable enough college fan back when Drew Brees was in college. It's like he went to Purdue. He went to a Big Ten school. But I don't remember like hearing anything about him in, in college of like, yeah, he's going to be a guaranteed start in the NFL. He's He's going to be like, 20-year NFL career player. Like, I don't remember hearing anything about that. So either I was just not knowledgeable enough or not paying attention enough in college football back then, or he just <laughs> or he just came and, like, became really great for the Saints. Nice throw. Nice throw. Like, obviously, Drew Brees was for the Chargers first, but then when... Like, he took it to another level with the Saints. Definitely. Definitely, like, became even better. Let's see if a buck read option will do any better. Dude, I, I'm i not... I haven't been that big of an NFL guy the last few years, but, like, watching the Bengals is legitimately fun because of Burrow and Chase. Okay, not much better. One yard. Yeah, I don't like the Rams. I think they get too much love. Yeah, 
Yeah, you pretty like is LSC supposed to be good this year? You pretty excited for this college football season coming up? Uh, I'm trying to think. Jaden Daniels? Jaden Daniels coming back as quarterback? Oh, don't you? You guys have that uh, Notre Dame coach, don't you? That was stupid. I kind of blindly threw that ball. What the hell am I doing? Ryan Kelly. <laughs> really know what play to run. Guess I can just do four birds, throw it up? I don't know. Turn around, just to catch the ball. Oh. Damn. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. That's not the way I want to start the second half. But yeah, last year was his first year, right? And wasn't, like, LSU wasn't bad, but they also, they also weren't, like, top, Ooh, top, top school. If I'm remembering right. So it's like if that's what Kelly does in his first year and Wisconsin has Luke Fickle in his first year coming up. I'm like, what kind of season can I expect from a first year coach? Like if there's going to be some growing pains in the beginning of the season or what? Like I, I thought I remember hearing a lot about LSU because uh, what? If I if I'm right, Jaden Daniels came from LSU, or came from Arizona State to go to LSU. So it's like new quarterback. God damn, new quarterback, new head coach. Wisconsin's doing the same thing. New coach. We brought in a transfer quarterback. I'm like, kind of worried about how the beginning of the season's gonna go. All right, we're not going to be able to win this game if we're turning it over on downs and then immediately get the ball just run right down our throats. Can we get around? I probably need to go to the bathroom. I feel like I'm getting kind of restless <laughs> in my chair. Dang. After this drive, take a break to get ready for uh, the finale. For the stretch run of this game. hoping. I was hoping he'd catch that. Dang, almost didn't get that one either. Hmm. 38 to nothing? A&M's over Oklahoma? That's right, that's what I needed.
It was a quick one. Squeaky chair, squeaky chair. You can't throw the ball five yards. Nice throw. First down, Sterling Silver. Gary Alvarez, please hang on to that ball. Six of 13. Ooh, that's a lot of incompletions. Oh, dude totally whiffed on his block. I had a guy block on the right and the left. I'm like, I can just keep going. No, only got nine yards. Could have had a lot more. Come on, why, why are you guys 15 yards downfield? They block at the line of scrimmage, please. Both of them. The left tackle and left guard double teamed, and the center and the right guard double teamed, and both of them let their guy split the double team. Boom. They Both of those guys broke free, and those are the two guys that tackled me. I should have I should have looked at this defense and done a different play because you see the guy, uh, the DB on the left, completely nobody there to block him. Okay, that's my fault. I should have called a different play. Should have called a different play. That's my fault. At least this play still works. <laughs> still got Sterling Silver. Five yard line, gotta get in the goal. Too many people not getting blocked. I got an idea. I got an idea and it worked. Hell yes. Wisconsin is alive in this game. Bum, 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 bum.
All right, let's get the ball back. Don't let them get any points. Let's take the momentum. Keep the momentum, I guess you would say, since we just scored a touchdown. There, like, I'm on the quarterback. So we got pressure there. That's because I did. Whoa, rubber duck. I didn't even notice that your sub was up. You get a free recruit with your Prime subscription. So we can take a look at that at your convenience. There we go. See, let's have, a, have our DBs get off of these wide receiver blocks and make these tackles. You don't know. Eight months in a row. I don't know if my seven month sub badge is any different than my eight month sub badge. I think I went right from six months up to one year. Problem HD with the pressure. Courtney Green with the tackle. Butts. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. You can change that, though, right? And also... On kick, you're supposed to change your badges in the chat there, too. That's why your OG hadn't been showing up. It's, you have to set it yourself. It's not automatic. Is, um, I got affiliated on kick and the OG badges weren't showing up. So I asked a couple of the other streamers I know on there. Like I gave one of them an OG badge and then he was typing in chat. I'm like, oh, it's not showing up. Like, I don't get it. He's like, oh, you made me OG. And like he was streaming at the time, so I'm looking on him's his stream, and he just goes clicks like two or three buttons in the chat settings. Like there, hey, now now his OG badge shows up. That was dangerous. He didn't even catch it anyway. Cool. But I'm assuming on Twitch you could probably do the same thing. Like, do you want it to be founder's badge or do you want it to be like? Eight month badge, that sort of thing. Also, I <laughs> didn't realize what a big play call this was. I saw him too late. I'm like, oh my god, he's not covering that side of the field. I need to quickly throw it to this receiver. I'm like, oh, I can see this guy running to the left. I'm like, oh my god, throw it to him, throw it to him. He tries to spin and throw. Shit, what a gutsy call by them. I got a freaking punt it now. Damn. Um. No. Do I want to waste the timeout? Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's take a look at the lineup, at least. I don't really like this. I should probably just call a timeout. I thought a bullet pass was going to work there. So if I threw a lofted pass, would that have gotten through? Wasn't that much separation. I wonder if I had waited if he would have gotten more separation. The underneath guy wouldn't have got the first down. Oh, 
Damn. I'm going to be thinking about that play for a while. Fourth quarter, fuck it. Well, that's what, I'm, that's what I was thinking. Like, if I punt this, one, I have to call a timeout. I'd, you really like to have three timeouts. So if the other team gets the ball, first down timeout, second down timeout, third down timeout, use all three timeouts, stop the clock all three times, and then, they, and then theoretically they punt it to you if they haven't gotten a first down. So it's like, it's nice to have all three timeouts. But it's like, even if I punt it to them, this has been happening all the time anyway. I haven't been able to stop their run game. So it's like, what's the point of punting to them if they're just, they're going to come down and get points anyway. So actually, I, I don't need to be that afraid of, oh, I'm giving them the ball in good field position. They'll get points. It's like, I'm pretty sure they're going to get points anyway. Oh! 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 No. Well, maybe. So that's the thing. If I can't, I think I felt like I was under pressure, and I didn't realize I had a few more seconds to throw the ball. So yeah, either that defender would have stayed closer to the running back, leaving the wide receiver open, or he would have gone with the wide receiver, giving that running back more space to be able to run and get the first down. No! I was supposed to trick you and leave you behind. I mean, that, that's what a lot of this comes down to, is just whether you can accurately realize when your quarterback's under pressure and when he's not under pressure. All right, we're going to try a read option one more time. If it gets shut down, then we're done with it. There we go. That's not too bad. I'll take eight yards. Yeah, dude, it's... Kick return, some some guys are so freaking... Like, agility. Acceleration. They can swoop and turn. All right, looks like the read option is working again. Where's the read option? I guess I'll do stick and nod. See so yeah, that there? That was like under pressure and that guy was triple covered. Was there somebody open? The short guy again, but they only rushed four guys, and two of the four were on me. Can my offense one please block better? Please. Holy crap, blasphemy. Nice job. Hey, I we just looked through my roster earlier tonight. I do have a lot of freshmen. Uh, let's do the same freaking play. I do have a lot of freshmen offensive linemen. So if I'm still at Wisconsin <laughs> in two or three seasons, we're going to have some really good offensive linemen. They'll be 95s for sure, if not more. Okay, if I had realized that guy was going for the running back, that's okay, that's okay. Let's run it again, run it again. We'll flip it this side, we'll run the other side of the field. But yeah, mo a lot of my offensive line is very young, like freshmen, sophomores. Like, I want to say... 
I want to say last year when I was like setting my starters for the year, I was like, oh my god, I have like a lot of true freshmen, like guys I just recruited are starting. <laughs> Almost threw that ball too soon. <laughs> almost. I feel like I almost hit a green guy in the back who wasn't even looking. I was so excited to throw that pass. Give me pistol. Do I have read option in this formation? I do. Blasphemy is out. All right, now they're starting to pick up on the read option. Do I pass? Let's do middle slant. There we go. Threw the ball away. I did not fake it. Gosh damn, I'm going to have to settle for a field goal now, aren't I? Goddamn kidding me. My DBs can't catch shit, and these guys catch every single time. And it's my fault. I threw the wrong receiver. I should have thrown to the guy who went. I just couldn't tell. I was looking at those two guys. I'm like, I can't tell what's going to happen. I sh okay. So I should have known the guy with the slant. So they were like running into each other. But yeah, the guy that ran the slant to the corner is open. But still, that's so annoying. They always catch that. So much for setting for a field goal, huh? All right. Well, I kind of regret having Rubber Duck and Random here to watch me screw this up. I kind of should have added stream after I won the first two games. 2-0, I should have called it. To be honest, though, I was feeling it. We murdered Nebraska and we murdered Washington. So I was like, all right, we're going to win now. Also, forgot to call a timeout. Well, it's not over yet, but... Gonna take a miracle now. Really hurts that we didn't get the field goal. Nick will be doing some four verts coming up. Alright, just in case anything crazy happens here, I'm gonna pause the music. I don't want to have to have the mute stream muted or anything for these great clips of me returning this punt all the way. Block him in the back. Do something. Cheat. <laughs> Let me return it all the way. All right. Anybody who wants me to throw bombs more often. Here we go. Dude, oh, maybe I should play some tanks tonight. I didn't do my daily missions or anything yet. I swear to God, if he fucking intercepts this. Like, we weren't going to win anyway, but it, that's what makes me even more mad about it. Fucking receiver, stop running, turn around and fight for the ball. All these guys are one-on-one -on -one coverage. It's like, okay, well... These guys catch better than receivers do. So for all you guys that want Splitter to run uh, four verticals more often, <laughs> now you see. It's always one-on-one -on -one coverage, and receivers cannot beat one-on-one -on -one coverage. 
One on one coverage is more likely to be an interception. Whatever. Mm. Whatever. We won two games today. We're just trying not to get fired. That's all. So we got two wins. I feel like two more wins will keep us from getting fired. Mm. Just could not stop that running game. Couldn't stop the running game, and then their uh, their DBs got sticky fingers. All right, so I told Apple I would maybe be streaming tomorrow night, but possibly not, probably not. Maybe like a 40% chance of streaming tomorrow night. So we'll see. Aiming more for Wednesday. Um, so yeah, so more likely Wednesday will be the next one. I might just do like a short kick stream tomorrow night. We'll see. Maybe it'll just be World of Tanks. I do. I logged into World of Tanks today and it said I had three days of premium time left. So I'm like, do I keep earning premium days like what's going on here uh so let's go ahead and get the raid on the go before you guys all disappear on me and we end up raiding with like one person oh it looks like everybody already disappeared oh there it said four for a second but i saw that raid timer why is that raid timer going so fast i thought you had more time than that okay so I wanted to look at the schedule before I raid it out. Now I'm all panicking. Oh, ah, rubber duck's trying to go back to bed. Oh no. So Oregon's trying to win the division here. Six and one right behind Minnesota. Minnesota already beat Oregon, but I think both of them probably have to play Penn State still. I don't know. So let's look at my schedule. We've got three games left. Iowa, Penn State, Minnesota. Speaking of Penn State and Minnesota. So Iowa's not that good, but we have number one undefeated Minnesota. We can't let that happen, can we? We can't let Minnesota go undefeated. So three games left. Hopefully we save our job and don't get fired. I'm going to try that raid again. See if it'll give us the four people. Ah, now it says four viewers. All right, so yes. Thank you guys for hanging out tonight. Let's go say what's up to Bethel. He should be doing his UCLA Dynasty tonight. So let's go say what's up.